here is a test problem for you to understand clockwise rotation about the origin. So we have three questions here and question three has three parts. Question number one is, is there a change in shape when you do clockwise rotation about origin? Is there a change in position when you do clockwise rotation about origin? And question number three is, how do the coordinates x and y of the points change for 90 degrees rotation, 180 degrees rotation and 270 degrees rotation. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Here are the answers. Question number one. Whenever you do a clockwise rotation about the origin, it really means clockwise is this direction, right? So that is a clockwise direction. So whenever you do about the origin, origin is this center point then is there a change in shape? The answer you know is no. There is no change in shape. Is there a change in position? Yes, it is. Now, when you do rotation, it will get a new position. We call that to be its image, right? Question number three is, how do the coordinates x and y of the points change? So that part you need to check with me now. So we have a triangle here points A, B, C are given to us. Point A is 0, 2, 0 and 2. Point B is 3, 1, 2, 3 is x value, 2 is the y value. Point C, 1, 2, 3 is the x value, y value is 1. So we write them in coordinate systems like A is 0, 2, B is 3, 2 and C is 3, 1. Now if I do 90 degrees rotation, what will be the image of this object? and what are going to be its coordinates. That is what you are supposed to write, right? So let's figure out. So whenever you do 90 degrees rotation, what happens? You can check with one of the points. For example, this is the origin and if, if I fix A with the origin and move it, it is going to rotate like this and come to that position, correct? So what really happens is the coordinates 0 and 2 switches over to 2 and 0. So we get point A dash, which is 2, 0. So what is happening here is 2 and 0 are changing their position. So x and y values interchange. That is one change happening. And the second thing which really happens is that the y value becomes negative. Since you move from quadrant 1 to 2, as you see, here y values are positive. Here all y values are going to be negative. So we need to make negative. Since 0 is same for negative and positive, we only write 0 as positive, okay. Now point B will be what? We'll interchange, that means we'll write 2 first and then 3 and then we'll change the sign for Y, make it minus 3. So that is how the points change, right? So C dash will be 1 and minus 3. So for a 90 degrees clockwise rotation, let me add here, clockwise rotation, we swap the coordinates, right? x becomes y, y becomes x and then we change the sign for y. So that happens. Let me now draw one here with these new coordinates. So b dash will be 2 minus 3. 2, 1, 2, 3. So that is b dash. This one is a dash for us. This is b dash and C dash will be 1 minus 3, 1, 1, 2, 3. So that will be C dash. So the triangle after 90 degrees clockwise rotation will kind of look like this. Do you see that? So that becomes our new triangle after 90 degrees rotation about origin. Do you see that? So every point has been rotated clockwise by 90 degrees. Now if I do rotation of 180 degrees, then where will these points be? 180 degrees means right across. So what really happens here is x and y interchange. Right? So x x and y x remains x. So for 180 degrees rotation, what really happens is x and y remain same, but the signs reverses. So plus becomes negative, negative becomes positive. So we get new points as A is minus 0, means 0 itself, and minus of 2, right? 
So 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2 will give me this. It's kind of reflection about the origin. B, now we'll write double dash because that is the second rotation we are considering. B double dash will be, we'll swap, we'll just change the signs for x and y. So it becomes minus 3 and minus 2. So minus 3 is 1, 2, 3, minus 2 will be here. So that is B double dash, right down, A dash and B double dash. And C double dash will be minus 3, minus 1. 1, 2, 3 and 1. So that is our position after 180 degrees of rotation clockwise. Okay? We are considering all clockwise rotation in this particular case. How about 270 degrees rotation? Well, 270 degrees rotation is you could do 180 of 90, then also you get 270, right? Or we can think about rotating it 90 degrees counterclockwise. Both ways we get 270 degrees rotation, right? So in this case, what happens is x and y values change but instead of converting or changing the sign for y, we change the sign for x. So in this rotation, what really happens is, so let's write down here what is happening for each point. So x and y is our original point, let's say x and y. So for 90 degrees rotation, they interchange and I mean y and this becomes minus of x. They interchange and that becomes negative. For a 180 degrees rotation, their sign changes. And for a 270 degrees rotation, they do interchange. But in this case, x value becomes negative, right? So we'll apply the rule and write down the coordinates for 270 degrees rotation. So A, let me write this as triple dash now, will interchange. So we'll have 2 and 0 and change the sign for x values we get minus of 2. For b triple dash that means rotation of clockwise this is clockwise rotation of 270 degrees will interchange x and y so it becomes 2 and 3 and change the sign for x. For c will again interchange we'll write 1 and 3 and change the sign for x. So we get a new set of points. This is after 270 degrees rotation of the given figure. Minus 2, 0 means that is the location for A triple dash. B triple dash is minus 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So that is B. And the image of C after 270 degrees clockwise rotation will be minus 1, 3. Minus 1 and 1, 2, 3. Right? That is C triple dash. Let's join them and see what do we get. That is what we get. So this is after 270 degrees rotation of clockwise. So I hope with this you understand how do the points change. Right? So basically what is happening is when you do 90 degrees rotation you have to swap x and y and make y negative these are negative values of y. Zero negative or positive is same so it doesn't change anywhere. For 180 degrees you just change the sign you get 180 degrees and for 270 degrees you interchange x and y and change the sign for x. So that way you can complete all the rotations about the origin clockwise direction in this particular video. Now we have another video where we will discuss with you counterclockwise rotation about origin and we'll take all the cases together thank you